Today I'm going to show you how I make it super easy to prep healthy meals and snacks for my kids and how it also teaches them at the same time how to eat healthy. So recently I have been teaching Layla Jane about some of the healthy food groups and what I want to incorporate into her diet every day. Most importantly, fruits, veggies, proteins, grains, and dairy. And I came up with a way to organize everything into bins so that she can easily identify what she's getting from that day. The other day I was at Target and in the dollar section, I found these clear refrigerator bins that I thought would be perfect for this. Unfortunately, there were only two of the clear ones left, but back in like the kitchen area, they also had these bright room refrigerator or pantry uh, storage containers. So I got three of those. This morning, I also went and printed off some labels because I love labels and I love organizing and color coding and using clip art. And I made a label for fruit, veggies, dairy, protein, and grains. And I'm going to stick these on each one of these bins. And then I'm going to properly put in the fruit into the fruit bin, the veggies into the veggie bins. Now my oldest daughter is four and she only goes to school two days a week and I pretty much pack her lunches. So this actually helps me create very healthy, nutritious lunches. If I prep all of this on Sunday night, it's ready to go. So all week I can easily just grab what I need and it's no more stressing about what I'm gonna put in her lunch for the next day at school. I have it all done and all ready for me. Also, if your kids are older and you wanna teach them some independence and healthy eating, you can have this set up and they can pack their own lunch. You can tell them maybe grab one thing from each compartment for your lunch or maybe grab two um, proteins or two uh, fruits, whatever you think your kid needs. Now you're too little. You'll have this later. Right now it's just milk. Milk all the time. I'm gonna start with the fruit container. Now right now I have some watermelon, strawberries, and grapes on hand. So I'm going to make little individual baggies with all of these. And I bought these snack bags. They're just a the little snack size from Target. And I thought these would be perfect so I can keep the portion control down and not just have this huge bag with just a few grapes in it. Done with the fruit. Now let's move on to the veggies. For the veggies, I have this week some carrots and those mini sweet bell peppers that Layla loves. So again, I'm gonna package these up in our little snack size sandwich bags. And of course, you might need to use bigger sandwich bags depending on who you're packing this for. Your kids might eat more. But this is mostly used for Layla Jane, our four-year-old, and she eats like a bird. So I don't need the big bags. That's why I'm using the little mini snack ones. For dairy, I have some string cheese, some of those little Danimal yogurt drinks, and then I also have the Laughing Cow Cheese, these wedges. And these are really good to dip like peppers in or your carrots in. So I'm gonna put these in like little cups with some of the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's and sprinkle that on top because Layla loves to dip peppers in that. So that would be like a combination. If she takes peppers or I give her peppers from the pepper kit from the veggie container, I would probably pick the cheese from the dairy container to go with it. I picked up some of those small little condiment containers, the little plastic ones from Target. Super inexpensive and we reuse these all the time too. And these are perfect for putting like ranch dressing in or as I mentioned, the cheese that she can dip the peppers in. Done with dairy, now let's move on to protein. For protein this week, I have some hard boiled eggs, some almonds, and some turkey pepperoni. Those are things that Layla's really loving right now. Of course, yours might be different in your family, but I like to stick with what I know she'll eat. Some other good options might be some like deli meat, that would be perfect, even bacon. Layla likes bacon, so that could be another option. Just have a few strips of that. Some chicken, nuts are great, or the seeds, or beans. All of those are great sources of protein. And last but not least for grains, I have the whole grain goldfish, which are, you know, a kid's favorites. I have some Triscuits. I love Triscuits. And I don't know if you guys have ever looked at the ingredients of Triscuits, but there's hardly any ingredients and it's all things you would recognize and be able to pronounce. So I love giving out Triscuits as snacks. And then I also have some Nature Valley bars that are easy and portable too. So those are always a good bet in our house. Got every 
everything put away and now I am set for snacks and lunches for the rest of the week. So it does take a little bit of time to get everything prepped. That's why it's good to do it like on a Sunday before your week gets started and gets crazy, but then you're done and it's so easy. Also, just if you're leaving to go out of the house, you can just say, go grab a snack. If I know Layla hasn't had any veggies for the day and she wants a snack, I can say, all right, but it's gotta be from the veggie tray and I can just kind of know and keep track of what she's eaten and if she's getting something from all of the different food categories. So now she is actually at grandma's house right now. So when she gets home, I can't wait to show her all the new snacks and the new system we have set up. I think she's really going to like it and think it's kind of fun and really like the independence of being able to choose her own snack too. It's been almost, well, almost all day. And Layla Jane is finally back from grandma's and Angie has not been in here all day. She just recently went down for another nap and I'm carrying her around. And did you have so much fun with grandma yeah, today? If, if I made a picture of the Halloween house with grandma and then we went outside, the crayons melted on our picnic table. That's so she was at grandma's house today and they were coloring and she's really into Halloween right now. It's July, but you know, that's okay. They were coloring Halloween pages and the crayons melted because you know, it is July and it's hot. I organized things so what we can make snack time super oh, easy. That my food. Mm, that's not food. Look at this, Layla. I have these new containers. And look, this one is protein. So these are like your meats, like turkey, eggs. Wait, look, this is dairy. So look, that's where I put your smoothies. And look, I have little string cheeses. We haven't had those in a while. And then Leah, look, there's the fruit. There's veggies. I got little peppers that you like. I don't want you to like peel it. I know, you don't like me to peel string cheese. All right, so all of you out there, I have to know, when you eat string cheese, do you peel it and eat it like that, or do you just take a bite out of it? I think it's, you have to, it's string cheese. You have to pull it and make it into strings. But Layla does not like it when I do that. No. No. <laughs> yeah, she gets mad. But Layla, isn't that cool? So now we can know when you've had a fruit every day, when you've had a veggie every day, your dairy, your protein, and a grain. That just looks so wrong to me. It's string cheese. You gotta pull the string. <laughs> and you know what, Layla? In our grains packet, because look, a grain is one of your other food groups. Right here. You could also take a little bag of, of crackers and have cheese and crackers. So again, it just kind of makes snack time and lunch time a little more fun. And that would be a really cute thing to pack in our lunch is cheese and then the crackers, maybe a hard boiled egg or even the pepperoni. She make little sandwiches. I love this. It makes things so much easier. Hope you all enjoyed all this and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.